It was incredible. Now, the new year came about, and here we are in, you know, the first quarter of 09. Um, January was a, kind of a funny month, but I mean, this month in February, I mean, it's just been incredible. So, so one of the things, when we were at your office, you were talking about how individuals, well, perhaps that are losing jobs or are losing money, starting to focus on their, I guess, personal lives. Would that be a reason? I'm trying to find a yeah. specific reason of why your revenue growth would be growing. Well, and the thing is, is that in, in a recession, recessionary period, people, I think what's going on is they, they reevaluate their lives and they, they kind of place more priority on their private lives. I mean, yes, people are losing their jobs. Well, that gives them a lot more time to focus on their personal lives, doesn't it? So, um, and also I had so many clients in the past that did sign up with our service claiming they wanted relationships and then had to freeze their memberships because because they were so busy and didn't even have time to date, to now that they have been laid off or they're basically in a holding pattern and don't know if they're going to have a job tomorrow, are, are now coming off of hold or freeze and are saying, yes, I do have time now to start dating again. And, um, so we could say that the business of love is recession proof? Oh, it's recession proof <laughs> for sure. And I mean, it certainly has proven that it is. Now, a quick question, uh, very quick here. There's a recession special, I understand, that you're offering? Yes. I mean, we do have some individuals that call and they do tell us that they have lost their jobs, but they still are interested in meeting somebody. So and so we do off? offer a recession. Air, uh, we call it a rece recession special. Recession so ten, special. Yeah. So 10% off. In the off. business of love. You're watching Venture. We'll be right back to talk more about it. Bloomberg Venture is brought to you by Chase. Protection matters. Chase what matters. has a unique built-in fraud monitoring system. So online or off, you're protected. Protection matters. Chase what matters. Mark, we have teams on both coasts that are interested, but Milos only wants to play for Dallas. Milos really wants to play for Brussels. Milos only wants to play for Shanghai. Buenos Aires. Frankfurt. Paris. Milos really wants to play for Rome. How's your Japanese? We know why you fly. We're American Airlines. If you plan on building, furnishing, or remodeling your home, don't spend another dollar. Now, you can enjoy an incredible selection of top quality name brand products priced up to 50% less than retail. Call for your free Direct Buy Insider's Guide to Buying Direct and learn what retailers don't want you to know. Call the number on your screen now to receive your free Insider's Guide to Buying Direct. You'll also receive a visitor's pass and map to the Direct Buy showroom nearest you. Pick up the phone and call now. World financial markets change even when you're not at your desk. Bloomberg gives anyone a snapshot of what's moving, plus top news, charting, and ways to track their portfolio right on their iPhone or iPod Touch. Download the free Bloomberg application at the iTunes App Store and stay in touch with your money wherever you are. Bloomberg Mobile. Welcome back to Venture. I'm Chris Valerio. We're with Christy Nightingale, the CEO and founder of Premier Match. We were just talking about the recession special, and you were talking about how even in this recessionary period, you continue to see a growth in your business. So I want to talk a little bit about that growth. You've expanded, obviously. You're in three, four cities right now. You also have partnerships uh, internationally and domestically. What expansion going forward are you looking at? What cities, what markets are you hoping to penetrate? Well, I think that the next market would be Boston and Chicago because we do get, have a lot of inquiries coming from those two cities. And um, I mean, our reputation is extremely, it's an impeccable reputation. So people, yeah. Now, one of the issues in this slowdown in this recessionary period mm -hmm. that we've seen with a lot of companies, both big ones and small ones, is cash flow. This issue of cash flow, access to credit, um, and just having enough cash on the books. So what is your cash, cash position like at this point? Is that something that you could expand and do something currently, or are you waiting for later? Well, I think at this point, I'd like to um, continue with where I'm at. I, I mean, maybe 
a year or two, I could consider the other markets. But right now, I'd like to continue to focus on the international clients and, and building Washington. But your cash position remains? It's, it's fine, yeah. Now, let's talk a little bit about um, your employees. We've talked about kind of how the business began. Uh, what, how many employees do you have? Are they full-time employees? What kind of costs go into maintaining that aspect? Well, I have about six employees that do work with me, and they are full-time. So um, it, it, it does take quite a bit of the revenue out of the company, and but it is worth it because, um, I mean, our clients, they, they expect to have a lot of personalized service. What percentage of, you, of would you say, the actual cost does the employee cost for a business like this? I would say it's about 40%. Okay, and then advertising, I'm assuming, would be another big chunk yes, of that. it's a huge chunk What of chunk, how, what percentage do you think for a business like this? Um, about 25 now, where do you advertise? What are the main places to advertise? Well, at this point, I seem to be advertising mostly online. So I am very aggressive with uh, internet, uh, Google searches and such. How so. much is that growing, do you think, that, that aspect of your business, having to use that venue? Well, it's, it seems like it's grown tremendously since when I first started 10 years ago. I mean, that, back then it was all magazines and newspaper article or um, advertising. Now it seems to it be strictly the internet. So for a small business like yourself, you make more than a million in revenue, mm -hmm. you have six employees, what kind of Google bill, for instance, or advertising click bill do you have every month? It could be about $7,000. Wow. So it's a lot of yeah. advertising costs there. Yeah. <laughs> now here's another question. One of the uh, interesting things with this, I think, with this industry is some matchmakers uh, amongst their employees have licensed psychologists because many times, as we mentioned, you act as kind of a psychologist. They also have perhaps lawyers, um, perhaps uh, photographers for the weddings. Is that something, is that an area that you would think of expanding into? Well, no, I don't think so. I mean, right now we do have, um, we offer personal coaching and relationship management with our clients. We also offer, um, we have the Premier Match 360, which offers clients um, insight into their dating behavior. So um, I find that our package really does cover a variety of things. I don't think photographers are really necessary or lawyers. I mean, they can find those services on their own. So words of wisdom for someone wanting to start a business with not as much experience, but little overhead? Well, I would think that, you know, if you really have a passion for something and you think you can do it, then go for it. You have nothing to lose. And I mean, if you, yeah, you have it, go you for have it. it. And that mm -hmm. is Christy Nightingale, the CEO and founder of Premier Match. Thank you for watching Venture. We'll have more next week.